Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to show you how to use the image trace feature in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so you can see on the screen here that this is an image that I've drawn. Um, I drew this with colored pencils. I took a picture and I uploaded it into Illustrator. So you use the image trace feature when you have a JPEG image that you want to turn into a vector shape so that it can actually be zoomed in. Because watch what happens. I zoom in on this image and look what happens pixelated that's what happens in Photoshop and Illustrator with any JPEG image so what we want to do is we want to turn this into a vector image using the image trace feature all right this feature is pretty cool um, I do recommend when you're first learning Illustrator to try to actually trace things by hand this image would be very complicated to trace by hand because it would just take a long time it took me about two weeks to actually draw and color this um, so this was you know this would take a little while but it's a great experience to learn how to use the keyboard and mouse to actually draw something or a tablet if you're using a tablet all right to use the image trace feature there are two ways to access it one is i click objects and i click image trace <clears throat> but i really never use that feature um, instead what i do is i make sure my object is selected you can see i have my black mouse selected and i click my image that i uploaded i'm going to go to window image trace once I select image trace, what's going to happen is this window is going to pop up on the screen, which gives me tons of options. Um, and basically what I want you to do when you first start using this is to play around. For instance, you can see all these presets up here. You can see there's different kinds of photos, colors, black and white. So if I just click shades of gray, what's going to happen is my image is going to be converted into a JPEG or into a vector image with shades of gray now look at this if we zoom in no longer um, being pixelated it is a vector image now and this is a great image to experiment with because you can see all the shades of gray it's actually a very cool image i just made my image black and white i'm going to undo that and i'm going to show you what it looks like in color i'm going to go to mode here and i'm simply going to select color and what it's going to do now is it's going to make my image a vector image via color. I need to click the trace button. And if you have a large image, this could actually take a while. This isn't the full size render of the image that I drew. It's a very small one, so the file size is small. You can see we're already done. It did it in one second. You can see the image actually almost looks better as a vector this size. Um, and now we zoom in. Now what's really cool about this is Illustrator drew my image for me so I can now go in and edit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this. So in order for me to edit this, because right now you can see that I just, let me go back. You can see that it's just still one image. So if I go, if I have it selected and I go to object, image trace and click expand, look what happens. It basically breaks up the image in all the places that Illustrator traced. Um, so it, it's making this up, but it does a very good job. Look at this image. Look how well it did. I'm going to unselect those. Let's say I want to change the color of just this one piece right here. This one thing right here. Oh, I select everything and every I select it and everything selected. But if I double click and go inside to the layer group here, you can see that now I just have this one selected. And I can click on it. The color that it is is already pre-selected. Let's say I want to make it bright red. Click OK. And that is now bright red. I could do that with all of them. I could change the color of my whole entire image using the image trace feature. It's a very cool feature to play around with and learn when and why to use it. Um, and then in these modes here, you can see that Let's see, I'm not going to go back here, but you can play around with what each of these does. But this is the basics of the feature, really turning your image into um, a vector shape. All right. Thank you.